In number 11, we have decimals again, but the principles are still the same. We can do anything we need to do to this equation as long as we do exactly the same thing to each side. So look at this, 6.92x plus 2.95 equals 11.42x plus 13.48. There's an x on each side. I need to get rid of the x's on one side, and I'm going to get rid of this one. And I do that by subtracting 6.92x. And of course, I have to subtract the same thing from each side. When I do that, the 6.92x on the left and the on the left, the 6.92x and the negative 6.92x go away, cancel each other out, leaving me with just the 2.95. On the right, 11.42x minus 6.92x works out to 4.5x and I still have this plus 13.48. Now the reason I subtracted this, the 6.92x, was because that's going to leave me with a positive number there. If I had subtracted the 11.42x, this would have gone away on the right, but I would have had a negative number for x on the left. And the, the positive numbers are just a little bit easier to work with, so that's why I did it that way. You could have done it the other way, though. Now let's continue to solve this. I need to isolate x, so first I need to isolate the term that contains x, so I'll subtract this 13.48 from each side. And that will leave me with 4.5x on the right, because these guys cancel out. And on the left I have 2.95 minus 13.48 and that gives me a negative 10.53. So I have negative 10.53 equals 4.5x and clearly we just need to divide each side by 4.5. Those cancel out. I'm left with x all by itself. x is equal to negative 10.53 over 4.5 and it's perfectly appropriate to use a calculator here negative 10.53 divided by 4.5 is negative 2.34. And number 12. 2 times x plus 7 over 5 equals 6x. I'm trying to isolate x, so here's what I'm going to do. I'm going to get rid of the 5, and then I'm going to get rid of the 7, and then I will get rid of the 2. So first, I multiply both sides by 5. So I'll write times 5 on the left and times 5 on the right. And that's pretty easy. You don't even have to write this, actually. I think the preferred approach is to say in your mind, I'm going to multiply both sides by 5. That will get rid of the 5 in the denominator on the left and multiply by the 5 on the right. That's a, a quick and easy way just to write it. Now that leaves us with 2x plus 7 on the left and 30x on the right. So I have 2 times x plus 7 equals 30x. Now let's distribute the 2. That will give me a 2x plus 14 equals 30x. Now we have an x on each side, so we need to get rid of the x's on one side. I could subtract 30x here, but subtracting that would leave me with a negative 28x, and that would be okay, but it's going to be a little bit easier to subtract 2x from each side. And on the left, those are completely gone. I just have 14 on the left, and on the right, 30x minus 2x is 28x. And you can finish up by dividing each side by 28. And so x, you see, equals 14 over 28, which is a half. And that's your answer.